Believe it or not, it is already time to start thinking about the holidays. How we got here, I do not know, but here we are. And if you are buying for a person who's always hitting the road, who's always traveling, it can be pretty hard to find something for them. Because finding an item that is worthy of taking up the precious small space in a carry-on suitcase, or in an RV, or in the trunk of a car, um, is pretty hard task, but you're in luck. I have got you. I am Michelle. I am with thenwecrossamerica.com and today I have 20 different gift ideas for all the different types of travelers that you might encounter on your list of people to buy for this holiday season. And then we cross America. I hope on this list of 20 gifts you find the perfect thing or you are inspired for what to get the traveler in your life or if you are the traveler you're inspired on what to put on your own holiday list so that other people know what to get for you but if you are looking for something smaller or in a cheaper um, price bracket or if you are stuffing a stocking, I have a whole list of 20 more gift ideas that are great for stockings. If you head on over to our website and subscribe to our um, email list. So it will be linked down below. Click the link and you can head over and just give us your email list and I will send you 20 additional ideas if you still need them or want them after this first 20 ideas. So let's jump into the 20 different ideas that I have for the traveler in your life. Believe it or not, the full-time RVer is becoming a bigger and bigger demographic. Uh, studies have shown that in 2018, probably close to a million people lived full-time inside of an RV. And so if you're buying for one of those people, um, it can be really hard because they probably live in about 150 square feet and they might have a spouse or children or parents or pets or whoever. So it's crowded in there and finding something that will work for them in that tiny space can be really difficult. So what about giving them a Redbox gift card? The great thing about a Redbox gift card is that Redbox kiosks are found nationwide. You can rent a disc from any red box and you can return it to any different red box so if they're traveling across the country and they rent it and then two days later they're ready to return it but they're 200 miles away or 600 miles away they can return it to a separate red box um, and it also doesn't take up any space in their RV and if you aren't an RVer and you don't camp a lot you may not know this but oftentimes you can't really get Wi-Fi at a campground they might say that they have Wi-Fi but they don't really have any kind of actual useful Wi-Fi and so if a camper shows up um, at this kind of campground Sometimes a DVD, an actual old-fashioned hard DVD, comes in great because they aren't going to be able to access any of their digital entertainment. So a Redbox gift card is a great gift idea for someone in this demographic. So if the person you're buying for is always on the road, but always is reading a book, what about a Kindle Paperwhite? They might already have a tablet that they read on, but uh, a Kindle Paperwhite is specifically just for the books, and so it's tiny, it's slim, they can fit so many books on it. Uh, the battery life tends to be a little bit longer than a tablet because it's only being used for the books. And they can fit countless books on it, but um, it's not going to take up very much space. I know a lot of readers like traditional hardback books, but sometimes if you're on the road, you just need to um, kind of sacrifice that and go with a tablet device. And the Kindle Paperwhite, um, the page, the, the actual screen you're looking at, looks a lot more like a regular book page than a um, reflective tablet screen. So that might be perfect for them on the road. The Weekend Warrior. This is what a lot of travelers are. If you or your loved one is always hitting the road on a Friday night for a quick little weekend getaway, what about a thermos bowl? If you haven't heard of these, these are amazing. My husband Matt and I each have one and we love them because if we are at the campground on a Saturday morning or if we're in a hotel or wherever, we can heat up the what we plan on having for lunch in the microwave or the stove or wherever, um, put it in these thermos bowls and hit the road. We've done burrito filling and then taken our tortillas and filled our burritos out on a trail. We have taken soup and eaten it um, 
wherever we're out for the day. So this way, if the Wicked Warrior in your life um, is out and about, they can still have a hot lunch, um, even if they're somewhere where they can't purchase a lunch because there's nowhere to buy food. So the great thing about being a solo traveler is you have the decision whether or not you want to talk to people. You can meet new friends, you can converse with strangers, but also sometimes it's nice to just kind of zone out. A lot of solo travelers, um, I have noticed, are a little bit introverted, and sometimes it's nice just to kind of close out the world. Um, what about a pair of noise-canceling headphones? Um, there are so many types of noise-canceling headphones out there in so many different um, price bracket. So whatever fits your budget, there's probably a pair out there for you to buy for the solo traveler in your life. The National Parks Enthusiast. This is probably the category that my husband and I both fall into the most out of all these different categories. Um, if you have a loved one or if you yourself are constantly going to new national parks and exploring the world through our public lands, what about a National Parks Passport, specifically the Explorer Edition. So there's a lot of little, the tiny little passports, and those are fun stocking stuffers, but if you're constantly at a national park and you are always exploring these areas, you gotta get the granddaddy of them all. It's pretty big, it's a giant binder, um, and there's all these pages that when you visit national parks, you can um, use a little ink stamp and stamp in the book to mark that you have been there, and it is, um, for the biggest national park nerds out there is you gotta get the big nice hefty duty one and this also makes a great gift because um, there's a lot of like informational facts and stuff inside of the book it's not just blank pages to stamp your passport um, it's also some informational stuff which is fun for the national park enthusiast when they're not at the national park the kids, if you are buying for a child who is always being taken on fun, awesome adventures, um, maybe this year you should skip the toy and give them a fun tool that makes them feel a little bit more grown up, a little bit more autonomous as they are traveling the country or the world with their family. Um, this year for my nephew, he's turning five, we got him the Camelback mini pack. It's a kid's backpack and it's, it's so cute. It's so little. It's perfect for him. It has a water bladder and there's enough room for his snacks and maybe a jacket. So if he and his dad are out on a trail, he can have his own water and he can have his own snacks and he can put his own jacket in his backpack. His dad doesn't have to carry any of his stuff. He's five years old now. He is definitely big enough to carry his own things and be responsible for his hydration and his food. Um, and and so I think this is a great tool for a kid and it also um, just I think that it will give a kid a lot of um, like autonomy and respect almost like oh this person who's buying for me respects me um, as a human <laughs> other than just a child and it's the holidays they'll get plenty of toys but I think a fun tool could be a cool way to bond with the traveling child in your life. The minimalist. If you have a minimalistic traveler on your list to buy for, I'm sorry because I understand that this person is going to be so hard to shop for. Um, you might actually want to go back up to my Redbox gift card idea because then there's not even an item. It's just a digital code to give them. Um, but I did come up with an idea for the minimalist traveler. Um, we have these Turkish towels, and Matt and I love them. We actually have four now. We had two, but we added, because we use them at home as well as in the RV. And they're a little bit, they take a little bit of getting used to because they're very thin. They're different than any other towel that we um, really use here in the United States. Um, they're almost like a sheet or cloth material but they are incredibly absorbent and they fold up very small. I mean, not, not like travel towel size, but very small for a full size bath towel. Um, so they can use them on the beach at a hotel if they don't have, if they're in a hostel and they have to have their own towel. Um, we use them in our RV because they dry very quickly. One of the best things about them is that they are incredibly quick at drying as well as incredibly absorbent. Um, so good luck with your minimalistic traveler and maybe this towel is the right one for them. 
If you have a techie on your list, if there's someone who always has the newest, funnest gadget and is always on the road traveling, why don't you try something a little unique and different? They might be surprised by this gift when they first get it, but then they'll realize that it's incredibly helpful if they are constantly traveling on the road with friends or family and they're often in places without cell service. What about a set of really good walkie-talkies? Um, we just recently bought a set because we've been talking about it for a while. They are amazing, especially if um, you are buying for an RVer, because if one person is backing up the RV and the other person is kind of keeping an eye out for things and telling them which way to go and to stop and just not hit anything, um, walkie-talkies are great if there's no cell service because they can be in communication. Um, when they can't see each other because sometimes the person standing at the back of the RV or the trailer um, can't be seen by the driver uh, and so this is a great way for them to stay in audio communication. My idea for the snowbird actually makes me really happy and it makes me wish that I had a snowbird in my life that I was buying for. What about if you have a grandparent or a parent um, who is headed down south right around Christmas time and doesn't come back until it gets warm again? Um, what about a roll of stamps or postcard stamps? Um, grandmas and grandpas, I think, would love to get a roll of stamps for the holidays because then they can go on their trip down to Florida or Arizona or wherever they spend the winter and they can mail cards and um, things to their grandkids, which I think the grandkids would really get a big kick out of and the grandparents would enjoy as well. Um, I just, I think that's a really fun idea and people really don't think about that, but a roll of postcard stamps or just a roll of stamps um, could be a really fun way for your children and your, and your parents or yourself and your grandparents or whoever to stay in contact in an old fashioned, really fun way while they're away for the winter. The dreamer. I've been the dreamer for probably well over a decade, 15, 20 years. It's just recently in our lives that we've actually had the freedom to be able to travel um, as much or almost as much as we would like to. Um, for the dreamer, what about a really fun board game called 10 Days Across the USA? We have this game. I got it for Matt a couple years ago for his birthday, and we really enjoy it. It seems like it's going to be really hard at first, but then once you get the hang of it, it's really simple but also really fun, and you can play with a wide range of people. Uh, my niece is almost seven. She's started to kind of play. She usually plays with a little bit of help, but I think she's almost to the point where she can play it um, with no help. Um, and my mom, who's almost in her 60s, really enjoys it as well. And it's just this fun, interactive, cool um, board game, card game that I really recommend for the person who wishes they could be traveling but can't be traveling right now. So they can play this game and dream of when they're actually um, crossing the USA. The Adventure Seeker. If you have a person in your life who is constantly headed out into the wilderness and going on some crazy fun adventures, um, I really like the Solo Stove Light. We have a much larger Solo Stove, which is for more stationary activities. But if you are gifting a gift to someone who needs to fit everything into their backpack, if you have a backpacker on your list, uh, the solo stove light is only about this big and it is a little pellet stove. It runs off of little sticks or twigs or whatever they find on the trail and they can use it to cook. There's a little rim at the top that they can put their um, food on uh, in a little pan or they can use it to roast over or just to keep warm and it's really fun and I like the way it works because the there's interesting holes in it, there's a science to it where it actually burns up a lot of its own smoke so it doesn't emit a lot of that campfire smoke that sometimes is unpleasant to breathe in too much. The City Slicker. If you are buying for somebody who is constantly jetting off to big bustling cities, I really recommend a collapsible backpack. So a backpack that's the size of maybe a school backpack that collapses and squishes down into a little tiny bag because if they have traveled to wherever they're going with a suitcase and a carry-on and then they get to where they're going and they want to go out into the city, but 
they have to like unpack their carry on or something, um, that could be a kind of a drag. But if they can just pull out a little thing, open it up, they have a whole other bag. They can leave everything else that they've packed, packed in those bags, and they can throw in some snacks and some water and whatever they need for their day hitting the city. And they can explore the city without having like big piles of exploded things <laughs> back at the hotel room. I don't know if you guys buy gifts for your dogs, but we buy gifts for our dogs at the holidays. Um, and if your dogs travel a lot, if you are a traveler and your dog comes along with you, um, we love our dog water bottles. They are amazing. They are the size and shape of a normal water bottle, but they have a little flap that folds open and makes a little bowl. So you can just squeeze the water into the bowl and they drink it and then it all folds back up together. Um, so it doesn't really get in your way. And we highly recommend them if you are on trails or on adventures with your dog. If you're buying for someone who's super health conscious and likes to make their own food and is really into food, um, they're kind of a foodie, I recommend a USB powered immersion blender. So if they're traveling in their car or an RV or somewhere where they don't have the power that a house would offer, but they have the power that a car would offer, they can charge up this blender with a USB um, cable like you would charge your phone and then they can unplug it, it has a battery in it and they can use a blender to make their smoothies or to make whatever they might be making as a health conscious foodie on the road. The recorder is someone who always travels with the travel journal, is always recording what they've experienced and the awesome adventures they're having. I really recommend getting this person a Polaroid Zip or some other kind of Bluetooth operated itty bitty teeny tiny printer. Um, the, the Polaroid Zip works um, with some weird kind of zinc magic and so there's not even ink in it. You have to put a special kind of paper in there and you just Bluetooth your photos that you took over to it and then it will print them out and they can peel them off because it's already on sticker paper and put them into their travel journals right then and there so that they can record and remember all of the fun adventures they had on their trip. The long haul driver. If you're buying for someone who takes massive road trips where they drive 10 or 12 hours a day or if you're purchasing for someone who is a truck driver and is in their vehicle a lot, or someone who even just commutes for work and is in the car a lot, um, I think that the absolute best thing that you can buy that person for the holidays is an Audible subscription. I love Audible. This video is not sponsored by Audible, but um, I think that it's great. I think that you should definitely um, get someone who's in the car a lot an Audible subscription because there's so many different books. Even someone who's not really much of a reader will probably enjoy listening to stories and they can listen to some stories while they are in their vehicle and they can learn new things or relive fun books that they read as a child or just kind of enjoy a new story as they drive down the road. And I think that there's probably nothing better for someone who spends so much time sitting in a car. If you are buying for someone who loves games and also loves travel, what about Parks the Game? Parks the Game is a new board game and it's um, kind of based around national parks and hiking and adventuring. And I'll be honest, I haven't played this game yet, uh, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about it and I think that it's beautiful. The art is amazing. It seems like it's really fun to play. This is, game is on my Christmas list and so I think that if you're buying for someone who likes board games and travel or national parks, um, you should buy it for the person on your list. And if you are my husband or my mom, I think that you should buy this game for me for Christmas. If there is someone on your list who is really aware of and passionate about taking care of the environment and the world around them, I know that they might have a little bit of a hard time with the fact that they are also a traveler because, let's be honest, traveling doesn't do great things for lowering your carbon emissions. Um, but I know that they're probably doing everything that they can do to kind of offset the travel that they do. So what about getting them a reusable straw? 
We use the final straw and we absolutely love it. I highly recommend the final straw because it gets so tiny and folds up so small. Um, there's a lot of other folding straws out on the market though. So what about a folding straw um, for the traveler in your life? If there is a jet setter in your life who is constantly flying off to places worldwide, you can't go wrong with an international travel um, outlet adapter. And that way, wherever they go, they can plug in all of their devices when they get to the country that they are going to be exploring and staying in. A lot of people who travel a lot probably already have one of these, but it's worth looking to see if there are any newer, better ones, or maybe if the one that they're using is getting a little bit beat up. This might be a great opportunity to replace it. And so they have one that is ready for wherever they go worldwide. Our last type of traveler, our 20th gift idea, the influencer. If you are buying for someone who travels around the world or around the country, taking photos for Instagram, writing a blog, maybe making videos for YouTube, and inspiring people and teaching people what they learned on their travels, and are making a living um, kind of just being a travel influencer, I think that a really fun, really useful gift for that person is a wireless shutter release. Um, if you yourself are not into um, photography or, or video, this is a thing that kind of attaches to the camera and then has a remote. So um, the person that you bought this for can hold the remote and go stand far away and focus their photo and then when they're ready, um, push the button and take a photo of themselves um, on a beautiful vista or by the ocean, wherever, but they don't have to be like holding the phone or the camera like a, like a, like a selfie. They can be a little bit further away from the camera. So I highly recommend a wireless shutter release if you're buying for someone who is constantly taking photos on the road and um, are, or would like to be in, in their own photos. Those are the 20 gift ideas that I have. If you are looking for stocking stuffers for any of those 20 types of people that I mentioned, please go and subscribe to our email list. The link is down below and we will email you 20 stocking stuffer ideas for any of those people. Um, what type of these travelers are you? Do you like to travel? Uh, and what kind of traveler are you buying for? Maybe you are like me and you watch these gift guides just to get ideas of what you want for yourself. If that is the case, uh, let me know down in the comments what you plan on asking for for the holidays. I would love to know. And um, please go check us out over at thenwecrossamerica.com. We have new content going up all the time. And we have some really fun projects planned for the new year. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.